The first gathering of the European Parliament since the Brexit vote and a rallying cry for continent-wide unity. The EU Commission Chief Jean-Claude Juncker said the European project must go on. I am what I am and I will fight to my last breath for a united Europe. But for Nigel Farage, the chief architect of Britain's Leave campaign, it was time to rejoice. Let June the 23rd go down in our history as our Independence Day. He warned the chamber that Britain's departure was the beginning of the end for Europe. We now offer a beacon of hope to Democrats across the rest of the European continent. I'll make one prediction this morning. The United Kingdom will not be the last member state to leave the European Union. Eurosceptic political parties in several other countries, Austria, Hungary, the Netherlands and France, are now calling for referendums of their own. Especially France's right-wing Front National and its leader, Marine Le Pen, who's delighted with the Brexit. But for those considering quitting the EU, the German Chancellor had this message. The EU is one of the largest economic powers. The currency union creates stability and prosperity. In view of all these great challenges, we want to work with everything we can to make the EU flexible and withstand crises. A flexibility that it has shown in the past. So we will work together to deal with Brexit and to further the remaining 27 states. But without Britain, the big question is how will the EU fare? Here at the British Parliament, another day of political wrangling as politicians here try to find a replacement for the outgoing Prime Minister, David Cameron. There may also be a contest for leader of the opposition Labour Party after many of its members call for the Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, to step down. Yeah. This has been the most heated exchange at the European Parliament in decades. The British people voted in favour of the exit. Why are you here? But tensions aside, a very European farewell after a very British exit. Jean-Claude Juncker embracing and kissing the man who threatens to undo the entire European project. Farage says he wants the UK to remain best friends with Europe, but some powerful figures in Europe aren't so sure. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Westminster, London.